Hello, good evening, everyone. Hi, teacher, good evening, how are you? I'm great. Hi, teacher, good night. Thanks for asking me, I'm great, I'm happy. How about you, Fabiola, how are you? I'm very good, uh, I'm tired, but i ready for learn English. Excellent, very good. That's the mood, that's the attitude. Excellent. It's good to see you, Fabiola. Let me see, who else do we have in here? Lisette Velasco, hello there, how are you? Um, hi, DJ, I'm sorry, I'm eating. <laughs> ah, that's all good. <laughs> I mean, it's cool and it's good at the same time, but yeah. please, don't make don't create a mess on your desk <laughs> but it's raining good. here and yeah. where do you live it's raining yeah uh, where i live it's raining actually um but it's not that heavy it's not like uh very constant it's not that constant it's like one drop <laughs> and then the other drop and it's like so <laughs> So weird. I don't. I don't get it. And it's really hot. Yeah, it's really hot. <laughs> Excellent. Very good. Welcome. Let's see, Noemi. How are you? I'm great. Thank you. I'm great too. Thanks for asking me. You look very happy. Um, I feel so. <laughs> ah, okay. Excellent. But that's good. Remember, a smiling is the secret to the happiness. <laughs> Very good, excellent. Let me see, we have Diane. Welcome, Diane. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. <laughs> I love uh, your I love your headband. Ah, thank you. <laughs> um, in the morning, um oh, oh good in the morning visit my family. In the afternoon I watch um TV with my cousin. That's so cool. Excellent. Very good. And you, how are you? Well, I'm great. I was waiting for this moment. You know, guys, I get so excited when I know it's the right time to the class because it's like today I need to teach them something new and I need to develop the topic. Ah, <laughs> okay. So I'm ready for it. And I hope you're ready too to learn. Let's see, we have Claudia Cuellar. Welcome. How are you, Claudia? Hi, teacher. Hi, fine. Excellent. Very good. Let me see. We have Marvin. Hello there, Mar Marvin. Uh -huh, Marvin, where are you? Uh -huh. You are not in class. Let's see, Fatima, welcome. How are you? Fatima, Karina. Hi, teacher. Sorry. I'm <laughs> fine. And you? I'm great. I'm happy to see you in class. You're welcome. Okay, let's move on. Let's see, Rafael. How are you? How was your day? Hi. It was fine. How about you? It was great. Uh, I'm a little bit tired, but I'm ready for today's class. <laughs> <laughs> okay. For tonight's class, actually, because we're at night already. Okay, <laughs> very good, Rafael. Thank you. Let me see, Florence. Why so serious, Florence? <laughs> Hi, teacher. How are you? Hi, teacher. Excellent. I think my microphone doesn't work and I'm confused, but it's okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Let, if I see, if you can see the screen, it says that you have mm -hmm. like. Hear me? Yeah, no. I can hear you, but your internet is like really low. So that's like causing interference in the conversation. Yeah, remember that when it rains, everyone, 
internet it's like the worst thing <laughs> okay so but it's good to see you in class florence let's hope your internet gets better <laughs> let me see we have marvin there you are marvin where were you hi teacher hi everyone yeah. how are you marvin i find not bad but it's yeah, you I don't know. English. <laughs> Let me see, Cesar. Welcome to today's class. Hello, Miss. How are you? I like tired after work. <gasps> I, like I don't think. Oh, you're tired. Uh, yeah. A lot of work. Yeah, I got you. I understand you. Are Let you me see. In the place. Are you rain in the place? Yeah, it's raining. Where I live, it's raining. But I was telling telling to the girls that it's like it's not constant. It's like one drop, and then the other drop, and it's like equal. my gosh. Equal, equal. Uh -huh. Okay, let's see, Crisia. Welcome. How was your day, Crisia? Hi. Um, it was. So hard it's okay really? <laughs> it was okay and, but at the same time hard uh yes i am alive <laughs> yeah that, that, that's a good motive <laughs> excellent <Very good. laughs> that was funny let me see we have jessica hello there jessica how are you fine teacher how was your day very cool very good, excellent. <laughs> Claudia, Maria, welcome to today's class. How was your day? Hello, fine. I work a lot, but it's fine. <laughs> yeah, after one after one free day, the next day it's like <laughs> you, you yeah. have a lot of work to do. Okay, excellent, very good. Let's see, Rene Samuel, welcome. How are you? Rene Samuel. It was good. It was good. Okay, your day was good. <laughs> and I'm um, assuming that you are good also, right? You're also good. Let's see. We are missing Jocelyn. How are you, Jocelyn? I am fine. That's great. Welcome to today's class. Yes. Let me see, we have in here, Walter. How are you, Walter? I am very tired. tired. Really? I got you. You've been working a lot, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and also traffic is not helping. <laughs> yes. Okay, excellent. Herson, hello there. How are you? Hey, teacher. Hello. Um, I'm fine. It's a, a good day today. It's a good day. Excellent. Very good. That's the attitude. Let me see, Andrea, just to finish. Andrea, how are you, Andrea? Hi, teacher. Fine. I hungry. I have hungry. <laughs> hungry. Yeah, I got you. I got you. I understand you. Okay, but it's good that at least during class you can eat at a snack if you want <laughs> during the class, or you can drink water. Yes. <laughs> hey everyone. So welcome to today's class. As always, it's a pleasure to have you in here. Congratulations to you that you're getting into class every day. That's excellent. That's good. It means that you're taking care of this and you are handling it very well. Although I know you have a really busy schedule, it's good to see you in class. And it's good that you're here to practice because some of us, we don't have no one else to practice English with, right, at home. So we need to take advantage of this time in this class. Now, listen, everyone, I'm going to share my screen. 
Give me one second. There you go. Do you see my PPT? Yes. Yes. Excellent. Very good. Now let's see. We have the date, Tuesday, July 27th, 2021. We're in the same section, section three. What is your neighborhood like? And then we got class eight, all right? Don't forget about it. Now listen, uh, this is really important what I'm going to say because it's about your vacation. Um, you're going out to vacation on July 29th, which means on Thursday, it's going to be your last class. Then you go on vacation and let me check, when are you coming back? Let me see. We're coming back on Monday 9, 9th of August, right? So take into consideration this information when you get to your vacations, please rest as much as you can so that when we go back, when we are in class again, you're going to be ready, okay? And fresh as a cucumber, <laughs> okay? So let's move on. We have, what do you remember from the last class? Basically, this part is like our recalling previous learning, right? We're trying to remember what we saw in yesterday's class. So we have like six or seven questions. Right now, I only have three. And I'm going to ask some of you to read the questions and others are going to answer the questions, okay? So let's just start with Walter. Please, Walter, read only question number one. Just read it. Mention the demonstrative pronouns that we learned yesterday. Excellent, very good. There you go. Let me see. Rafael, which are the, oh, okay. We have a, a classmate that wants to participate. That's very good. Rene Samuel, tell me. Mention the demonstrative pronouns. Number two. No, number one, answer. Ah, Mission, Mission, did this most, <coughs> pardon, Don't worry. Mission, then demonstrative pronouns, that's we, Learn yesterday. Excellent, thank you. Now let's see. We have Fabiola, excellent Fabiola. Tell me, which are the demonstrative pronouns? And for singular? Just number plural. one, tell me the four demonstrative pronouns ah, okay. that we saw yesterday. Okay, uh, this and this, that, those. Very good, excellent, there you go. That's the correct answer. Then we we'll go with question number two. Let me see, I'm going to ask somebody else to participate. No, I mean, please read question number two. Which are the demonstrative pronouns that we use for singular choice? Choices, excellent, very good. Let me see, Rafael. So, which are the demonstrative pronouns that we use for singular choices? Singular, this and that. Excellent. There you go. Very good. It's good that you're not you're not forgetting that. Excellent. It's good that you remember. Let's see. Let's get to somebody else. Claudia Cuellar, can you please read question number three? Mention demonstrative pronouns used when talking in plural. Mm -hmm. So yesterday we saw the plural ones. Let me see. Florence, can you please tell me which are the plural ones? The plural ones are this and those. Excellent. Very good. This and those. Very good. Thank you. All right, let's move on. Let's see. Mauricio, please just read. Just read question number four. Okay. 
mention one use that we have for one and one. Excellent, very good. Do you remember class that yesterday we saw like two or three uses for one and once? Okay, so let's see. Claudia Maria, tell me one use that we have for one and once. Uh, when we have uh, more, uh, two or more options. Excellent, very good. Two or more choices, excellent, or options, very good. That's great, that's one use. Let's see. Jessica, please, question number five. Just read it. In which part of the sentence or question do we use was or was? Excellent, very good. Jessica, repeat after me, use. Use. Three times. Use. Mm -hmm. Use. Use. Excellent, very good. Uh -huh. So let's see. I'm going to ask Patricia. Okay, so in which part of the sentence or questions do we use one or once, Patricia? Uh -huh. Do you remember? Uh, I'm sorry, teacher. Uh, I am late for class. Okay, don't worry. Just give me one second. Let me charge. Okay, so don't worry, Patricia. We are just recalling what we learned yesterday. Let's see. Do we have somebody who would like to tell me the answer to that one? End of the question. Huh? Okay, Noemi, thank you. At the end of the question or, or answer, uh, in replace of the noun? Mm -hmm. Excellent, very good. Good, that's great, exactly. I think that somebody else also said that answer and it's correct, very good. So don't forget that you use it at the end of the question or at the end of a sentence. Okay, very good. Let's check that one. Number six, let me see. Diane, please ask question number six to somebody else. Just read it, please. We use is for. Uh -huh, we use is. Is for. Uh -huh, exactly, very good. Let me see. Fatima Rivas, we use is for? For singular, use one. We use number six, we use is for? We saw that in yesterday's class. For singular, oh no. Uh, for singular, which ones? Which one? Uh -huh. From the demonstrative pronouns, which ones? Ah, okay, it's for this and that. There you go, excellent, very good. Crisia, please, number seven, just read it. We use R for? Mm -hmm, exactly. We use R for, let me see. <clears throat> Marvin, we use R for? We use our for for once. Mm -hmm, okay, yeah, for once, but also for. Let me see if somebody else who would like to participate in this part. Andrea. So we use our for which demonstrative pronouns? Uh, use uh, that and thus. Excellent. There you go. This and those. Okay. Excellent. Very good, guys. So pretty much that was the recalling previous learning or things that we remember from yesterday's class. It's good. I can see clearly that you have your, your notes, and that's great. 
in your learning. Very good. Let's go with grammar focus. So yesterday we saw this part. Today we're just going to check the pronunciation one more time. Um, let me see, I'm going to ask Rafael the first question and Cesar the second question. Rafael, all the ones that are with is and Cesar with are. Okay, let's start with Rafael. How much is this necklace? How much is this one? How much is that necklace? How much is that one? Excellent, very good. And then we have which one? And then you set your answer, right? The blue one. Excellent, thank you, Rafael. Okay. Let's go with Caesar. How much are these earrings? How much are those earrings? How much are these? How much those? Those, excellent, very good. Oh. Now, if you notice, we don't have how much are these ones. We don't have that. How much are those ones? We don't have that option, okay, neither. So when you answer to the following question, like which ones, you can use ones. And to answer that question, you can say the yellow ones. That's when we can use ones, okay? I think that was pretty clear. Let's move on to something else. Now listen, we have the pronunciation stress. So the pronunciation sentence stress. So most of you already finished like section three and that's great. Some of you are still working in section three. Remember that tomorrow is the last day for section three. So you must practice a lot. So in the platform, you're practice a lot, you're writing, right? And right now we're going to practice our speaking, our pronunciation. Now let's see. The bubbles that are like bigger, those are the stress sound. For example, if I say, excuse me, okay? If you notice, we have like an intonation, a really strong intonation, right? And then we go down again. They are perfect. They are perfect. I like the blue one. I like the blue one. They are not very attractive. They are not very attractive. Okay? Now, I'm going to ask each of you to practice with this part. And let me help you. If you don't know how to do it, I'm here to help you, okay? So let's just start. Let's just start with Claudia Maria, please. Excuse me. Mm, they, they are perfect. Mm -hmm. I like the blue one. They are not very attractive. Excellent, very good. It also, it, I don't know if you could notice Claudia, but it also, influences a lot the way in which we are sitting, right? So sometimes if we're like sitting in here, uh, the voice or the sound of our voice, it won't be that loud as we need it to be, okay? So we need to be like in a good position also. Let's see, let's get to somebody else, Florence. Excuse me, they're perfect. I like the blue one. They're not very attractive. Excellent, very good. There you go, excellent, no mistakes. Let's go with Cesar. Excuse me, they're perfect. I like the blue one. They're not very attractive. Excellent, there you go, very good. Let me see. 
Luis Alonso, please. Oh, <clears throat> uh, excuse me. They are perfect. I like the blue one. They are not very attractive. There you go, excellent. Let's go with Crisia Muñoz. Excuse me, they are perfect. I like the blue one. They are not very attractive. There you go, excellent. Let's go with Andrea Sosa. Uh, ex excuse me, they're perfect. I like the blue one. They're not attractive. Ah, yeah. Just the, the, the sentence in the middle with blue. Okay, so the intonation is not in one, it's in blue. I like the blue one. I like the blue one. Okay, okay. so okay. there you go. Very good, Andrea. Thank you. Marvin. Excuse me. They are perfect. I like the blue one. They are not very attractive. Mm -hmm. Excellent. There you go. Let's go with Patricia. Excuse me. They are perfect. I like the blue one. They are not very attractive. Excellent. There you go. Let me look for Claudia Cuellan. Excuse me, they're perfect. I like the blue one. They're not very attractive. There you go, excellent. Very good. So we are going with Karina Marisol, please. Excuse me, they are perfect. I like the blue one. They are not very attractive. Mm -hmm. ah, and the last one. They are they not are very not? attractive. Uh -huh. Yeah, remember to give the intonation. We don't want to talk or speak always in a flat way, right? Because even in Spanish, we don't talk like in a flat way. We talk with intonations. Very good, Karina. Thank you. Rafael. Excuse me, they are perfect. I like the blue one. They are not very attractive. Okay, excellent, thank you. Let's go with Lisette Velasco. Excuse me, they're perfect. I like the blue one. They are not very attractive. Excellent, very good. That was great. Let me go with Persona Maya. Excuse me. They are perfect. I like the blue one. They are not very attractive. Excellent, very good, very good. Thank you for your participation. Let's go with, let me see, I'm missing Jose Walter. Excuse me, they perfect. I like a blue one. They are not very attractive. Excellent, there you go, very good. Jocelyn Rodriguez. Excuse me. Very attract perfect. I am I like the blue one. I like the blue one. They're now very attractive. 
Okay, thank you, Jocelyn. Very good. Repeat after me, Jocelyn. Their. 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 Not. Not. Very attractive. Very attractive. There you go. Excellent. Let's go with Raul. Tarseño. Please. Excuse me. They are perfect. I like the blue one. They are not very attractive. Mm -hmm. Don't go flat at the end. Okay. Excellent. Very good. Let me see, Mauricio. Excuse me. They are not perfect. I like. I like the blue one. They are not very attractive. Uh -huh, okay. Don't forget everyone to make, they are not very attractive. Okay. Thank you, Mauricio. Let's go with Elsie de Carballo. Uh -huh, Elsie. Are you there, Elsie? Okay, let's go with somebody else. Ada Gabriela, please. Excuse me, they're perfect. I like the blue one. They're not very attractive. There you go, excellent, thank you. Jenny Lises, please. Excuse me, they're perfect. I like the blue one. They're not very attractive. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Good stress. Let's go with Jimmy. Okay. Excuse me. They're perfect. I like the blue one. They're not very attractive. Uh -huh. Excellent, very good. Thank you. We need, let me see. Rene Samuel, please. Yes. Your turn to practice. Uh -huh. Yes. Ah, yeah. Just... yeah. Yeah, remember the internet sometimes fails. <clears throat> Excuse me. They're perfect. I like the blue one. They're not very attractive. Attractive. Excellent. Thank you. Let me see. So I have Diane, please. Excuse me, they are perfect. I like the blue one. They are not very attractive. Mm -hmm. There you go, excellent. Let me see, Fabiola. Excuse me, they are perfect. I like the blue one. They are not very attractive. Mm -hmm. There you go, excellent. Noemi, your turn. Excuse me. They're perfect. I like the blue one. They are not very attractive. Mm -hmm. Excellent. There you go. I can feel your intonation. That's great. Let me see, Fatima Karina. Excuse me. They are perfect. I like the blue one. They are not very attractive. Mm -hmm. There you go. Excellent, everyone. So please don't forget that in English, we don't, we don't speak like in a flat way. Most of the time, most of the time in English, we talk like in here, like ups and downs, okay? That's the stress. So it's very good for you to practice this kind of words and to find out more 
words like these ones. And you'll see, you will get it very well at the end, okay? So let's move on, we have a practice. Now, I don't know if you remember that yesterday I told you that we were going to practice with demonstrative pronouns. And I told you, I have some, some pictures for you, okay? So images. So we got the practice time. Let me see. I need Jessica, Lizeth, please read the instructions. These are the instructions. Jessica Elizabeth, or oh, hay otra Jessica Elizabeth? No, you, you Jessica Elizabeth. <laughs> okay. Uh, la word is pairs. Working pairs, uh-huh. As a, as when, question, use demonstrative. Thank you. Okay, repeat after me, Jessica. As. As. And. A. Answer. Answer. Questions. Question. Using demonstratives. Using demonstratives. Excellent. Thank you so much. So we have this guiding examples. Let's see. Luis Alonso, please read the guiding examples or the guiding example. Uh, how much is how much is this? How much is this pair of sandals? The pink ones cost uh, $30. Mm -hmm. Excellent, very good. So there you have it. You're going to work in pairs and, and just as you have in this example, you are going to ask and answer with these pictures, with the pictures below, okay? So I'm going to form the pairs. I'm going to make the pairs. For example, Patricia, you're going to work right now with Andrea. You are going to ask her about any object that you want from the pictures, okay? Just one simple question using demonstratives and Andrea, you're going to answer, okay? Action. How, how much? Um, this uh, a car. Uh, I I like. Uh, Is it that simple? I know. Uh, uh huh. Uh, the red. Uh huh. T-shirt? No, she asked for the car. I I don't understand. Okay, now let's see. Listen, everyone. So if you ask, don't worry, Andy. Don't worry. Okay, now listen. This is for everyone. If you ask, for example, how much are those t-shirts? Because we have two t-shirts, right? We have two or one pair of t-shirts. How much are those t-shirts? Those teacher, those teachers, those t-shirts cost $20 or just $20, $10 or just $10. Okay. It's simple. Okay. You don't need to you need to worry that much for the answer or the question. Just try to make it simple. For example, Patricia, she asked, how much is that red card? Okay. So you could have said something like, the red card is, I don't know, like 400 or 300. It's going to depend how much you want to ask for it, okay? Let's practice with this. And don't worry, everyone. If you make mistakes, we are here to correct them and to learn from them, okay? Let's see. Let's get Noemi and Fabiola. What? You're going to ask? And Fabiola is going to answer. Okay. okay. How much is that computer? That computer is cost $300. Okay. 
That's expensive. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you, Naomi and Fabiola. Now remember, you can add something extra like which one, the blue one, or something else to keep it simple, but at the same time you are practicing. Okay, let's go with Rafael and uh, let me see Fatima Rivas. Rafael, you're uh, you're going to ask, and Fatima is going to answer. Okay. What is uh, what is cause this suitcase? That suitcase uh, is fifty dollars. <laughs> okay, excellent, very good. Don't forget, everyone. Then when we are asking about prices, you you must say how much is this. Look at this, that's why I brought this PPT or this part from yesterday's class. You can ask how much is if we have only one thing or how much are if you have more than one thing. These are the kind of questions that you can create with the pictures. For example, how much is how much is this cell phone? Okay. And somebody can ask some and somebody can answer this cell phone cost, I don't know, like one hundred dollars or one hundred. Okay, it's going to depend of the price that you want to add. Okay, let's keep practicing. Let's see, Mauricio, you are going to ask to let me see to Florence. How much cost? How much cost uh, this pair of this pair of uh, pair of uh, t-shirt? Which ones? The, the blue one. The cost is $20. Excellent, very good, there you go. We're practicing, that's great, that's great. We are moving forward. Thank you, Mauricio, thank you, Florence. Now let's get to, let's get to, let me see, Cesar, we're going to work with with Herson. These are you are going to ask, Herson is going to answer. How much is television? Uh -huh, Herson? The television uh, cost um, three hundred dollars. Okay, excellent, very good. There you go, everyone. You're going with the higher prices. <laughs> okay, excellent. Thank you, Cesar. Thank you, Hersa. Let's go with somebody else, Claudia Maria. Please ask your question to Diane. Um. How much are those pair of, of stock? The cost is $14. Okay, excellent, thank you. Now listen everyone. This is an special or an important part. If we are using the word pair, you don't need to use the demonstrative pronoun those because you are only asking for one pair, okay? So the pair has two socks, but it's only one pair, okay? So you must say, 
how much is this pair of socks? Or how much is that pair of socks? If you want more than one pair of socks, you can say, how much are those pairs of socks? Okay, like you want more than one pair. You want like three or four pairs of socks. So there you go, this is extra, we're practicing. That's great, let me see. I'm going to have... Marvin, you are going to ask Lisette Velasco, please. How much this red cap? Sorry. Repeat again, Marvin. How much that red car? The how car. Much that, how much is that red car? He said. Okay. Uh, that car. Uh, the cost of the car is. 300. Okay, excellent, very good. There you go, excellent. Don't forget everyone that when answering, you can say things like the red one, or you can also say it's 300 or it costs 300. Okay, very good, excellent. All right, everyone, so some of you already practiced, some others, others are, haven't practiced yet, but we need to move on because I need to teach you something extra at the end, okay? So we have, which one do you prefer? Now listen, you have this conversation. This conversation is actually part of the platform. So today we're going to practice. If you have any questions in the pronunciation, let me know. I'm still here to helping you, so we're going to check to check that. Okay, so let's just start with Marvin. You're going to work with Fabiola. Marvin, you are A, Fabiola B, and Rafael is going to be C. Action. Look, these jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the world one better. The wool one? Why? It looks warmer. Well, I like the lower one better. It's more stylish than the wool one. Uh, there's no price tag. Excuse me, how much is this jacket? It's 499. Would you like to try it on? Oh no, that's okay, but thanks. Anyway, you're welcome. Hablando <laughs> viendo. That's great, thank you. <laughs> okay, I know, right? It was expensive. <laughs> All right, that let's move good. on. Yeah, I mean, it's going to depend if you want to spend that much money, you're rich. <laughs> okay, excellent, very good, guys. You're working in trees. Let's go with Diane. You are A. And let me look for somebody else for you. Jimmy, you are B. And Luis Alonso, you are C. Action. Okay. Yes, you are C. Look, these jackets are really nice. Which ones do you prefer? I like the wall on better. The wall one, why? It looks warmer. Well, I like the lower mm -hmm. ones better. Is more stylish than the world one. Mm, there is no price tag. Excuse me, how much is this jacket? 
Uh, it's 499. Would you like to try to try it it on? Um no, that's okay. But thanks. Anyway. You're welcome. Excellent. There you go. Thank you. Jimmy, repeat after me. Warmer. Warmer. Three times, Jimmy. Warmer, warmer, warmer. Excellent. There you go. Very good. Now we're going to have Cesar, Andrea, Sosa. Oh, okay, Cesar, you're going to be A, Andreita B, and Patricia C. Action. Uh -huh, Caesar. Are you in class, Caesar? Where are you? Ah, uh, there you go. No, I can't hear you. I, I don't know if Andrea and Patricia can hear you. Okay. Uh, look. These jackets are really nice. Oh, you're going to change. Okay, let's see. I think that <laughs> these are, don't worry, Andrea. Yeah, don't worry. Ah. <laughs> no, le estaba diciendo de que creo que a César no le funciona el audio. Uh. Let me see. Ya lo perdí de nuevo. <laughs> Let me see. Yeah, quizás se desconectó. All right. Coach, me, Andrea, lady B, lady A, lady A, sorry. Who, who, who's talking? Let it A, please. Uh, in the yes. on chat. Okay, Anna, so you're going to substitute a uh, Caesar. Let it A. Yes, you are A, Andrea B, and Patricia C. Action. Okay. okay, look, these jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the wool one better. The wool one? Why? It looks warmer. Well, I like the leather one better. It's more stylish than the wool one. Hmm, there is no price tag. Excuse me, how much is this jacket? It's $499. Would, would you like to try it on? Oh, uh, no, that's okay. But thanks anyway. You're welcome. There you go. That was great. It is funny, right? Every time I see that price tag, it's like, <laughs> I don't want to pay that. Although I want the jacket, but I won't pay that. <laughs> and girls, very good. Now let's get to... Let me see, Noemi, you are A, Walter, Walter, you are B, and let me see if I have somebody else in here, Claudia, Claudia, let me see, Claudia Maria, you are C, okay, action. Look, these jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the wool one better. The wool one? Why? It looks warmer, warmer. Well, I like the leather one better. It's more stylish than the wool one. Mm, there is no price tag. Excuse me, how much is this jacket? It's 499 would you like to try it on? Oh, no, that's okay, but thanks anyway. You're welcome. Excellent, very good, no comments, no mistakes, excellent. Now let's see, we are going to have... Teacher, Maui. I will participate in this class. Ah? Huh? I didn't okay. participate in this class. Okay, excellent, Elvis. 
So you're going to be A and Mauricio. You're going to be C, Mauricio. Yeah. And Mauricio, you are C and One, two, three. Fatima Rivas. You are B. Okay, me, hey. Look, this jacket are really nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the wool one better. The wool one? Why? It looks warmer. Well, I like the leather ones better. It's more style than the wool ones. Mm, there's not price tag. Excuse me, how much is it jacket? Is it is this jacket? It is four hundred ninety-nine dollars. Would you like to try it? Mm, on? No. Mm, no, that's okay, but thanks. Anyway. You're welcome. Excellent. Bravo. That was great. No mistakes in the pronunciation. Everything was great. Very good. Let's go with Crisia Muñoz. You are A. Karina Marisol, B. And Gerson Amaya, C. Action. Look, this jacket is really nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the wool one better. The wool one? Why? It looks warmer. Well, I like the leather one better. It's more stylish than the wool one. Mm, there's no price tag. Excuse me, how much is this jacket? It's $499. Would you like to try it on? Oh no, thanks. Oh no, that's okay. But thanks anyway. You're welcome. There you go, excellent. Bravo, no mistakes. Very fluency, excellent. Let's go with the last pair. Raul Sarceño, you are A. Jenny Lisette, B and Florence, See, action. Look, this jacket are really nice. Which one do you prefer? Sorry, I like the wool one better. The wool one. Why? It looks warmer. Well, I like the leather one better. It's more stylish than the wool one. Mm, there's no price tag. Excuse me. How much? How much is the jacket? It's four hundred ninety-nine. Would you like to try on? Oh uh, no, that's okay. But thanks anyway. You're welcome. Excellent, very really good. Thank you. Now let's see. We're missing just like. Three people in here, let me see. Ah, Claudia Cuellar. Claudia Cuellar. You are A. You see, you have your microphone open. Do you want to participate? Ah, okay, so Claudia Fuegger, you are in the Carvalho Fatima Karina is going to be the action. Okay, 
Look, this jacket I really like. Which one do you prefer? Uh -huh, I see. Hola, hola. Uh -huh, you are B. Este, de, de I like. El... Hola. The conversation. I need you to practice the conversation. You are B. La B. Aba. It's your turn. Ya. Yeah. Ya. Yeah. Ya. Yeah. Yo soy la B. Yes. yes. Vaya, que comience la compañía. She already start, Elsie. She already start. Let's move on. Your B. I ah, like. Ah, yeah. ya. Vale. Entonces, I like to wall one beer. I look Warner. Um, uh, yeah. um, you can you can stop in there in better because you are only B. Eh, Leo también la la. Usted solo la, es la B. Usted solo es la B. Okay. Continue. Letter A. Better, no price. Eh, tag. Eh, solo esa sería. Ah, señorita, estamos en una conversación y va a esperar a que su compañera hable. Ella es la A, usted es la B. Ok. Bye. Let's see, who is A? Claudia Cuella, right? Uh -huh, Claudia, continue. Who want why? Continue, Elsie. Um, it look Warner. Well, I like the letter one, one better. It's more stylish than the wall one. Mm, there is no, no price tag. Excuse me, how much is this jacket? It's four hundred ninety-nine dollars. Would you like to try it one? Um, no, thanks. Okay, but thanks anyway. You're welcome. There you go. Excellent. Very good. The three of you. Excellent. Now listen, everyone. This conversation, as I told you before, is part of your platform. And I believe that you have exercise to complete with this. So in case you have any question, remember that you can text me to my WhatsApp and tell me, Miss, can you me in this or Miss? I don't understand this part to help you, okay? Excuse so me, what is your WhatsApp? Sorry, Rafa. What is your WhatsApp? Oh, I you can find it in the group. I don't... You don't have it. Let me see. No. I think. Yo creo que sure. usted le aparezco como instructora, de verdad. You are. You are. No, es que no estoy en el grupo. Ah, sí, yo soy Fede, sí. Okay. A mí ah. no me han agregado el grupo. De verdad, Rafael. Y, sí. y, pero ya busco en su correo porque es que ahí está el enlace. Usted solo le va a dar clic y automáticamente lo hace. Ay, ¿cómo se dice? Participante del grupo de WhatsApp. Ya. Pero no me llegó ese link. En el primer correo, disculpe. Sí, sí, el sí. primer correo que me enviaron aparece donde están las instrucciones del uso de la plataforma, el enlace para las reuniones. Y abajo está el de WhatsApp. Y okay. solo le das clic y ya. Eh, si no, lo, lo reenvío al grupo. Ah, bueno, no, no está en grupo. Ya si lo voy no... a buscar. <ríe> sí. eh, ya lo voy a buscar. Ajá, porque es el primer correo donde nos mandaron todas las indicaciones del uso de plataformas. Eh, aquí el compañero creo que lo Ajá. compartió. Aquí se me acaba de compartir ahorita. El enlace de WhatsApp. Ah. El chat del grupo de la reunión. Lo que tienen que hacer es unirse a eso y yo creo que a usted, no sé si les aparezco, like, solo con mi nombre o, o les aparece con... No, el... aparece Febe. Ah, pues sí, ustedes, ¿quién es ella? <risa> Just for you to know, that's my name. Ese es mi nombre, ¿ok? So, eh, cuando usted se agrega ahí, Rafael, ya uh -huh. usted busca mi número ahí y me escribe si ustedes tienen alguna duda. 
¿ok? Ok. A veces okay. yo estoy trabajando, pero igual yo les puedo ayudar, veo ahí con mi campo <ríe> y les ayudo, ¿verdad? Para Perfect. los exercises. All right, everyone. So listen. I have prepared this topic for you uh, because Noemi wanted to know extra things about this. Now listen. Um, como ustedes ya saben, como docente, yo tengo que desarrollar los temas de la plataforma. Y por eso me dedico más. Por ejemplo, ahorita que estamos en la, en la sección 3, me he dedicado a, a esa parte, ¿verdad? Que es para ayudarles a ustedes y para que practiquemos ese speaking. Porque, créanme, el speaking is really important. ¿Ok? Así como la gramática, también el speaking va a la par. Son muy importantes. Pero tenemos esta extra information que yo he preparado por el tiempo, porque yo sé que la mayoría de ustedes vienen a trabajar o, o están cansados o están enfermos, no hay ningún problema. Yo comprendo, no la vamos a desarrollar. Mañana esperaría yo, primeramente Dios, que nos conectemos y voy a desarrollar esta parte. Es bien simple, solo son como unas eh, reglas gramaticales extras para que las tengamos en cuenta, ¿verdad? Eh, esto no lo van a encontrar quizás ustedes en la plataforma, pero sí es bueno que lo sepan, ¿ok? Es excelente que ustedes lo sepan y que lo tengan en cuenta. Así que lo vamos a ver mañana. All right, everyone. So that was it pretty much for today's class. It was a pleasure to see you as always. And tomorrow. have a good night. Tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Thank you. Good night. 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 You're welcome. There you go. Bye bye. Or another bye. Class. Bye bye. Tal vez si me escuchan. Sí, ahora sí ya lo escucho. Ustedes están haciendo el mareado. I'm sorry, excuse me. I don't... Sí, yo comprendo. A veces los audífonos fallan. No se preocupen. All right. Bye. Bye.